All right, you guys, got Westland here today. We're gonna start the cattle run in. She's ready to go. You got a pencil? Show him you got a pencil, ready to go. Carpenter's pencil. We're gonna get this thing done. The first, the base, we're gonna use four by fours. We're gonna notch two of them. Uh, so when we drag it with the tractor, it doesn't catch and snag on anything. And then the lateral ones we're gonna do on top so there's less resistance. So let's get to that. Say anything? Say good morning? No. So I made the frame for this a couple months back. Obviously you can see those trees with leaves on them. So it was fall or just before fall. But yeah, fast forward to now. All right, Weston's over here banging in these eye hooks. Um, and these are gonna be for when we hook it up and we can tow it around with the tractor. Daddy, yep. I wanna get my uh, little camera downstairs. Out of my mind, how could I be so blind? How could I not see? Awake on the floor, looking up, wanting more. This is so unreal. I must have been. All right, so we got an eight foot front and a five and a half foot back. I'm gonna do a brace on the side to get it to be square, and then we will measure for our rafters. Cause your love is strong for him. Why would it not be? He's always there for you. All right, so when I laid it out, you saw I just propped up the board here, basically traced where my notches are gonna be. Uh, it turns out using this gauge, it's a 412 slope, which is gonna be more than enough with this metal roof. Uh, I transferred the 412 to make a plumb front cut, and then our seat cuts right there, front right there, and then back. These are not cut um, to that angle, but it doesn't really matter, so it's the back of it. And uh, let's place these on. We're doing 16 on center. Right here, I'm actually using some repurposed boards. I ripped down uh, some of the material from our deck removal when we did our addition. So that was nice, some free used boards and it'll do the job for this run in. Now we just gotta cut these off. It's ready for a roof. To resist, got me looking like this, like the one before. Cause I must be strong. Cause this might go on for long. Cause I was wrong, and he's always there for you. I'm gonna be using these Tex uh, roofing screws, and they have the grommet on there. So you won't have any leaks. Just make sure you don't over tighten these. Alright, so this is a cheap little run in. It's not perfect at all, but it's gonna do the job. And when I bought this metal roofing, I bought eight foot roofing. And uh, yeah, our slope's a little bit longer than eight foot. So uh, I just put some flashing on there. It'll do the job, keep that dry, and uh, hopefully get the water where it needs to go. So it's been a while since I originally built this. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do to decide this. Um, the rough cut wood is really expensive right now, at least at Home Depot it was. So it's kind of pushing it off and I, it's getting into winter. Um, it's getting cold, I need to get this done before the weather's horrible. 
and we're gonna get the cow soon, hopefully. Um, so I went to Lowe's and I picked up some severe weather half inch plywood. Um, I'm gonna have to change a few things about where the boards land, but uh, yeah, it should be fine. This is the stuff right here, it was about $40 a board. I just grabbed eight, it's probably gonna be more than enough, uh, but it's better than going all the way back. It's like half an hour away, so if I have any extra, I could just return it. But let's get to it. I'm just gonna be using some siding nails um, and a pneumatic nailer to do this. It's gonna be the fastest way. So I just threw a couple scrap pieces in the bottom down here, uh, and I'm just gonna rest the board on top of it. This whole thing is less than eight feet, so it's gonna stick off. We're just gonna cut it off at the end, so. Right here I'm just adding a couple scrap 2x4s. That 2x4 that I'm nailing to was on the other side of the 2x4 on the corners. So I needed a backer to nail into. So that's what that is. All right guys, so I just got all the siding done on this thing. This thing is definitely not square. Uh, I definitely didn't put a crazy amount of thought into this. Uh, if I did, I wouldn't have made it over eight foot tall, so we'd have to use more than two uh, sheets of plywood. And, you know, I kind of made it for the board and batten type deal. And uh, vertical, these would have been fine, but obviously these didn't help us splitting that. So um, I just kind of put a scrap piece here and nailed both of the boards to this piece and it holds together the gaps, um, which is good. I think this is gonna be nice and sturdy. I don't think two cows will uh, rip through this, so I think it'll do just the job. We have ventilation at the top, a little bit at the back, and obviously the front's wide open, so um, it'll give them a little bit of airflow, but nothing crazy, get them out of the major winds. So I think this will definitely be nice. The true test now to see is if we can move it with our tractor. This thing is pretty heavy, so let's do it. This video is brought to you by Dry Code Boots. They have everything from boots for men, women, children's. They also sell waders. Down in the description down below, I'll provide a link to their website as well as on Amazon. That way you're covered by the whole return policy if you end up not liking them. I did wear mine for about a month. At the 18 minute mark, I'll let you know what I think. Nice morning, no wind, 20 degrees out. Got my new boots on. New boots, we're goofing. All right guys, so these are dry code mud boots or rain boots. They're just like, kind of like muck boots, but muck boots are kind of expensive and really never wanted to pull the trigger on it. Dry code reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try out any of our things? And I said, yes, let me get some of those boots. So I opted for these and they are not the, uh, they're not steel toed. They have a bunch of options. They have like brown, black, camo, steel toe, non-steel toe. These are like anti-slip and they are, um, I don't know if they're not necessarily insulated, but they, the material is rated for negative four degrees. So that's pretty darn good. Have some nice warm feet. I'm out here with our frozen backyard. I'm gonna go on the ice and check this out. I just wanna let you know I'm not paid for this. I did get free boots, but uh, yeah, we're gonna test these things out. I'll wear them for a while and then uh, we'll give you a review of these. All right guys, so I don't think these are gonna stop you from slipping on the ice. Ice is ice, and uh, you know, they are pretty beefy, the traction, but uh, if you don't have like studs on there, it ain't gonna save you from the ice. So um, it's probably more for like oil, stuff like that, but they feel pretty good, you know, stable. So let's go do the goats.
Here you go. Hey. Hey. She's not really down for the camera, but Charlie's a hog, so. Oh, nice and warm. Been out here cutting some trees down. Uh, just making a little pathway. Maybe I can get the tractor back here and do some more work. Not that it's that much room, but uh, there's no access really back here. So I've been wanting to cut these for a while. I cut them down the other day, but I'll test these boots out. We're gonna be clearing this out, um, putting it on the brush pile. We don't burn wood for heat, but if we did, we'd have plenty of trees. We had a bunch down when we bought the property and I kind of left them for the kids to like climb on and cross the creek. But I'm at the point now where I'm like, well, if I'm going through here in the winter, I don't want to climb over these freaking trees. So they could still climb across, but I made a pathway that I now blocked by cutting trees down. So we'll have to get to that for sure. Let's walk over here. The weather here has been super crazy and uh, getting warm, cold, freezing. Come on, pup. I was actually like not gonna do a brush pile this year and I was like, oh, that sucks. We can't have a freaking bonfire. But then I was getting to it, bored one day, so I just started cutting all this stuff up. I'm trying to clear this stuff out so we can make this a useful spot. I don't know, maybe put a little sap house out here, something shanty would be cool. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of wood, probably split it and do some campfires with it. But uh, yeah, here's where we try to make our dam. It always gets cleared out, but it's definitely deeper than when uh, we didn't do that for sure. Oh no! The other day everything rained and thawed everything out and I was like, yo girls, it's your sled! And I said, you better go get it! Now look at it. Maybe it'll melt next week. We're supposed to get it like uh, 50 degree temperatures, but uh, I think that sled might be gone till spring. Comment down below. Do your kids leave their sleds out? They've been leaving their sleds out, but their elf brought them new sleds this year and they were told take care of them and put them away so they don't end up like that. Pretty sure it's probably the same thing. They just get cold and they want to go inside and they're like, we're out of here. So our lower driveway is a giant sheet of ice right now. I was doing okay with it, sliding on it. Charlie slid down it into the gate the other day and then, uh, was it two days ago, I freaking biffed it good. Fell right back, caught myself on my arm and I'm like, oh man thought I was gonna break my arm or something but uh, so I finally went and got some sand sanded this bad Larry that way I don't fall on my butt again Charlie goes absolutely insane when he gets to go in here with the goats so let's see it I gotta yell at him to not bite their feet so we'll see Charlie ready to go come on come on pup ready They really like hanging out down here. When I cleaned this out the other day, I just left the hay down there because it's like their little dry bed and they love it. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, man. Such a nice guy. Milo. Milo. Oh, oh. Ah. All right, let's get some food. There we go, guys. It's 
look at this. We finally got some snow. I think we got about five inches by now. Gonna have to clean the trailer off. But uh, let's go check this out. It's a big guy. So we've had these guys in here for about a week now. It's been kind of muddy, but they've been using the heck out of this thing. What I did was the with the cattle panels over there, I'll show you. Um, I basically cut a hole in the side of the uh, siding there and just put a chain to it. And uh, basically it's locked into that fence over there. Over here, I used our old shelter logic frame and then just put like a little wood frame on the front of it to uh, prevent them from going through. And then I just, um, lagged that using some uh, some GRK fasteners into there and then this is chained to that so everything's tied in it's not going anywhere so pretty happy with this um, gosh everything's so expensive now I spent a decent little bit on it but uh, that's why I have this I need to put some plywood on the top of this but uh, it's working for now keeping this stuff relatively dry in here a little bit of snow on the back there, but uh, fits the round bill, so that works good. All the snow shed off it nicely there, so that's, that's a sweet deal. As you can see here, I just cut the holes there. Nothing fancy. There's a chain. It ain't going anywhere. Goofing. Yes, I know. This area is a little bit small. But these things are freaking expensive guys none in the marketplace or there is or they're like ten dollars less than new So you might as well go buy a new one because it's closer to you. Everything's far in New Hampshire We will get more get them a bigger area But it works for now. Let's take it back to the woods back here. This looks freaking Sweet, it's like a winter wonderland. It's been so crazy this winter with our bad weather We've had a lawn. The lawn is still green under this. Yesterday it was a green lawn. Blows my mind. Now it's covered. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so right for this, I've had these dry code boots for about a month now. Well, I'll talk to you about this. We'll just hang out down here. It's pretty freaking cold out here. Don't even feel it in these boots. They are super nice. Keeps my feet nice and toasty. I like them. I'm pretty happy with them. Oh, nice grip. Uh, pretty durable. And I think they look pretty good too. So uh, I'll drop the link down there in the description down below. Once again, thank you for them for sending these boots out. Uh, I really wanted to give them a test before I post them on here, and I think they're they're legit. They're they're at a better price point than the muck boots. I know you get the name of the muck boots, but hey, I'm not spending 150 bucks on boots or something like that. So get out of here. I have some Kamek winter boots, and these actually keep my feet warmer than those Kamek winter boots. So I'm pretty impressed, guys. fit pretty good in here the miss was telling me she's like that's not that big for two cows uh, or two steers but it looks like they fit perfectly so 